Hey, it's Jennifer Sparks coming to you from the very beautiful Hilton Head Island. I'm going to be taking you guys for a visit today to one of my favorite places to go for shopping and dining when I'm on Hilton Head Island, and it's called Caligny Plaza. First, we're going to be going to Carolina's Coffee and Crumbs. This place is adorable. As the name suggests, it seems more like a coffee shop with like pastries, but they also were serving breakfast items too as well. We weren't here for breakfast, but we needed a little caffeine fix before filming Caligny Plaza. The atmosphere was warm and cozy. I love that they had fresh flowers and candles lit. It's also very family friendly too. It had a place for kids to hang out and play. They had indoor and outdoor dining. This place was just a little gem. We had coffee there. It was really nice. Now come join me. We're going to go take a little walk. I'm going to show you what it's like to walk around the very wonderful Caligny Plaza. For those of you that are new to my channel, I mostly do resort tours and reviews, but hey, when I'm in town, I go find really cool places to go and I like to film it and show other people what it's like to be there. This video is taken February 2022. Parking was pretty easy. It's winter. It's not a very busy time to go there. I'm not sure how it is in the summer. I've never been to Hilton Head Island in the summer before, but I'm sure parking could probably be a little trickier. It is located right next to Caligny Park, where it has a big beach access. It has full bathrooms where you could change and shower places to sit, they have swings that you could hang out with, with friends and people watch. Really neat place. This right over here, this is the Frosty Frog Cafe we're going to go check out. This video was taken in the morning, so Frosty Frog wasn't open yet, but we are going to be having lunch there, so stay tuned. I personally like to travel in the off season and I like to film at off hours like I like to go very early in the morning so I don't have to like dodge a lot of humans <laughs> so here is our visit to frosty frogs we're here for lunch we did not have a reservation I don't know if they actually take them but we were seated right away they are mostly known for the frozen daiquiris they have so many different kinds they had indoor and outdoor seating and they also had big TVs inside for sports. I heard it's a great place to go watch the game. We had ordered a pizza and had some beers. We were so lucky we were able to sit outside. We had For February we had beautiful weather this week in Hilton Head Island. We have one more dining adventure at the end of this video. We're going to go have breakfast at Gringo's. It's a diner over there. It was really good. That was our last day of our trip. Oh, it's always so sad leaving Hilton Head Island. It's such an amazing place. If you're new to Hilton Head Island, you, you got to research it. You got to find there's so many amazing places to dine. I'm going to be making a video. I haven't made it yet. I'm, com I'm compiling it together <laughs> currently as we speak of all the places we dined while we're at Hilton Head Island. So if you're interested in Hilton Head Island videos, please subscribe to my channel and check out the playlist I'm going to leave at the end of this video. If you're not new to Hilton Head Island and know more about it than I do, which is probably some of you, maybe most of you, please share where you like to go, like your favorite hidden gems in the comments below, if you want to give them up, obviously. <laughs> share them with others. This is my fourth trip to Hilton Head Island. And last year, I was able to spend three weeks here. It was amazing. I stayed at Marriott Surf Watch, Barony Beach, and Grand Ocean. This year, I only had one week. I spent a week at the Marriott Grand Ocean, and I also spent a week at Myrtle Beach, South Carolina as well. That was a really neat place too. So sorry, I'm getting carried away with the talking. These are some of the restaurants that are pretty popular over here. This is called the Earl of Sandwich. Not to be confused with the Earl of Sandwich in Disney Springs and Disney World. This is a different place. This is like a pub, has a great happy hour, all that stuff. As you can see, this place is very scenic too. It has the fountains, beautiful places to sit. In the summer, they have concerts. And that's a big problem with going in the winter is you're not going to get all that. But if you're someone like me <laughs> and likes to avoid crowds, then wintertime is a fabulous time to come to Hilton Head Island. This place, Fish, is always busy. Every time I always walk by here, obviously not now because it's morning. <laughs> this place is always seems to have a really good crowd. What do they serve? Fish, <laughs> coastal food. <laughs> Gonna find a lot of that in Hilton Head Island. If you're a fish lover and a fish foodie, you'll definitely love coming to Hilton Head. I was trying to make friends with this bird over here. Animals love me for some reason. You know, he didn't even get scared. I was more scared of getting close to him <laughs> or her than they were of me. Lots of birds on Hilton Head Island and alligators as well. 
I've personally never seen the alligators, but I'm mostly on the beach and in shopping centers and my resort. But apparently there's alligators here. But, you know, it's just the way of life here. You just don't mess with them and they won't mess with you. Another thing I want to add about Hilton Head is the bikes. <laughs> Anybody that's been to Hilton Head Island knows how bike friendly it is. I'm not talking about motorcycles. We're talking about pedestrian bikes. They have pathways, like walkways that you could walk on and bikes are on them too. I mean, there's so many people, such a healthy lifestyle over here. I'm blown away with like how active everybody is that lives in Hilton Head Island. It's an amazing inspirational town for sure. Other activities which are very popular here are dining, as you can see, <laughs> shopping, golfing, and boating. I mean, they have great things in the summer, like as far as fireworks, cruises, sunset cruises. This over here, this is adorable. I wish we could have like seen some co summer concerts and stuff, but you're not probably gonna find that in the winter. I could be wrong. Maybe they do stuff on the weekends. I personally avoid places like this on the weekend. I usually stay at the resorts. I try to, like I said before, um, avoid big crowds this over here this is a wine tasting room you could get a free tasting if you buy a bottle of wine that's a deal and a half I actually featured this Carolina tasting room in a video I made last year of my three week stay I think the video is called dining deals and happy hours in Hilton Head it actually turned out to be my biggest video yet and it's so funny because I do mostly resort tours and casinos and stuff and this food video just exploded so people in Hilton Head love to eat <laughs> The food options are endless. When I checked into the Marriott Grand Ocean, they gave me like a dining catalog. It was like a thick magazine of all different restaurants with menus. It's like mind boggling, like where you wanna go. And the brunches, I mean, everything is so amazing here. And speaking of Marriott timeshares, not Marriott in particular, but there's a lot of timeshares on Hilton Head Island. And with that comes with, you know, timeshare salespeople. People come up to you and they start talking to you. Usually it's basically they're leading you to a timeshare sale still like you know say they have a hundred dollars for you or free tickets to something yada 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 some people love them they go and they listen and whether they buy them or not you know they get the hundred dollars but you know it's your vacation time so just be leery you know someone's very persuasive that you know you might be stuck in a meeting that they say is like an hour long it could be three <laughs> it could be very high pressure Anyway, I don't like to say bad things about, you know, anything, but I just like to warn people about what they could expect walking around the shopping centers of Hilton Head Island. We are here for magnets. Off track again. Sorry. <laughs> My mom, I, I started actually making these YouTube videos because I kind of wanted to bring her along on all the trips <laughs> that I was going to. And, you know, I, I, it just took off. And, you know, now I, I make the videos for everybody. This, there's tons and tons of t-shirt shops. Like, you don't have to bring clothes to Hilton Head Island. They're everywhere. <laughs> you could buy anything you want in Hilton Head Island. You could also find like a Walmart and they also have like department stores and like outdoor shopping centers. I didn't see a, a large indoor mall anywhere in Hilton Head Island. I could be wrong. If anybody knows of a big mall there, please let me know in the comments below because I've never seen one. It's mostly outdoor shopping centers that you can find. I love these little turtles. They're so cute. <laughs> All right, where to stay? If you want to stay close to here, the Holiday Inn Beach House is really close to here. It's situated right on the beach and right smack next to Kalitney Park, um, is, which is the public access beach, which could be great and it, or it could be bad, depending on how busy it is. It has a tiki bar. It looks like a really happening resort. Also close by, within walking distance, you could find a Holiday Inn Express, and there's also a Courtyard Marriott, but neither of them are directly on the beach. Anybody ready for some breakfast? <laughs> Popular places to dine for breakfast. Skillets, located in the Piggly Wiggly parking lot. And now we're gonna be going to Gringo's Diner. Gringo's had indoor and outdoor seating. You go inside, you grab a menu, and you tell them at the counter what you want and you pay for it there. So it's good to know ahead of time what you want because we kind of went there, we're like, uh, we, don't, we don't know, we have to look at the menu and there was a line and all that. The food was really good. I had the breakfast burrito. My husband had the croissant with the egg and bacon. The prices were reasonable and it was a really nice breakfast. Holy smokes, I'm at the end of the video already. <laughs> Time flies. I'm going to be showing you guys next. I'm working on the Marriott Grand Ocean, the full resort tour. Love this place. 
I filmed a couple ocean walks. I already did this one. It's a relaxing sunrise beach walk. Then I'm going to take you from Grand Ocean to Sea Pines, where the Marriott Monarch Resort is. Never stay there, but I heard it's awesome. Then we're going to be going to Shelter Cove. This is by the Disney Hotel. I'm going to do a little walk around there and show you the stores and restaurants there. Then it's our Where We Ate episode. I'm going to be working on that in a little bit, too. I'm hoping to have all these videos done this week because I'm going to be on my way back to Atlantic City. Time for some more casino time. This is your host, Jennifer Sparks. I hope you found this video helpful. If you did, if you could hit the subscribe and the like button and check out my videos of Hilton Head and Myrtle Beach, I'm going to leave for you right here. Get out there and enjoy your life. Be well to yourself and others and safe travels to you.